Are you looking for the best Kelty tents? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best tents on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Kelty Night Owl 2-Person Backpacking Tent. The Kelty Night Owl tent comes in a 2-person size. It's targeted as a slightly more budget version of the Dirk Motel. So what does it trade off to do this? The first trade off is in the tent poles. The DAC aluminum tent poles on the Dirk Motel tent have been swapped for standard aluminum poles. This goes some way to explaining the additional weight of the Kelty Night Owl tent, sitting at 5 pounds 15 ounces compared to 4 pounds 13 ounces for the two-person version of the Kelty Dirk Motel tent. There has also been a trade-off in the materials used, again adding weight to the tent. The tent is made of cheaper polyester materials rather than the Dirk Motel's nylon floor and ripstop nylon rainfly. Polyester might be cheaper and heavier, but the fly is also a little thicker which should help with longevity. The rainfly is also a touch better waterproofed with an 1800mm hydrostatic head rating versus the Dirk Motel tent's 1500mm waterproof rating. Unfortunately, the Kelty Night Owl's floor feels a little thin and this translates to the floor having a waterproof rating of only 1800mm, 3000mm on the Dirk Motel. We would recommend picking up the additional footprint with this tent to avoid any tears due to rocks or tree roots. As per the Dirk Motel, the Night Owl tent also suffers from ventilation issues with the rain fly on. So how does the Kelty Night Owl tent stack up? We feel that this tent lies even further into the dead spot between camping and backpacking tents. Due to its weight, this tent could only be a backpacking tent for the most casual of backpackers and is best as a decent quality camping tent. All in all, you get the best quality materials from the Dirk Motel without much of a difference in value. Unless you're only using this tent for car camping, go with the Kelty Dirk Motel instead. At Number 2. Kelty Dirk Motel 2 Thirds Person Backpacking Tent. The Kelty Dirk Motel tent tops our list and comes in two, three, and four person models. These are updated versions of what was previously known as the Kelty TN2, TN3, and TN4, respectively. This tent is fairly lightweight, coming in at 4 pounds 13 ounces. Although, this is a slight dead spot for tent weights. The standard sacrifices in size and materials have been made to reduce the weight, but the tent isn't quite light enough to be classed as ultralight. Granted, many ultralight tents are significantly more expensive. But for all but the most hardcore backpackers, it's light and packs down super small in your backpack. It also provides excellent durability with high denier materials, a ripstop nylon rainfly and aluminum poles made by the market leader, DAC. The lightweight nature of this product means it will never be able to have enough material to stand up inside, but it's still fairly roomy. This is thanks to the shape not quite representing the classic dome shape. The tent instead extends at the ends, so you don't headbutt the walls as you wake up. We love what Kelty calls the stargazing fly. This is a rain fly that you can peel back and clip together, allowing you to easily lay back and gaze at the stars without the rain fly flapping about. The tent comes with two large doors on each side, a must-have feature. Single-door backpacking tents can be irritating if someone needs a bathroom break at night. Beside each of these doors is also a vestibule to help store your backpack, and there are small gear pockets inside for flashlights, sunglasses, and so on. As mentioned previously, it doesn't quite make it into the ultralight backpacking category. But, frankly, we would recommend brands such as Big Agnes, Nemo, MSR, and Marmot over Kelty if you're wanting high-quality ultralight tents and you're willing to pay the significant price required. The Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL is the sensible step up if this is a concern for you. The two areas that the Dirk Motel disappoints a little are the waterproofing and the ventilation. It could do with a few more guidelines to keep the rain fly taut as we would worry that strong winds could result in the rain fly sagging, allowing water to pool and eventually enter the tent. Don't get us wrong though, it will still do a great job in all but the worst three-season weather but the Big Agnes tent above is hardier. 
The ventilation offered by the Rainfly is okay but not great. Of course, you could just pull up the rain fly a little to add some more ventilation but if it's pouring and you're camping in a very humid place, there is a risk of condensation. For casual campers, these are not instant setup tents so expect to spend a handful of minutes getting the poles through the fabric loops. Overall the Dirk Motel provides excellent value for backpackers and campers alike. Although those who prefer to do more hardcore backpacking may be best suited to lighter and more waterproof tents like the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL. At Number 3. Kelty Tallboy Tent, 4 sixths Person. This tent aims to provide the best camping experience by adding height. Unfortunately, we feel it misses the mark. The Kelty Tallboy features the usual drawbacks associated with budget tents. It has less durable fiberglass tent poles, a large pack size, it's heavy, it comes with just one door, and it has no vestibule. Unlike the other Kelty tents, this one also doesn't come with a full-length rainfly. Where the Tallboy falls short is its height. Despite being named Tallboy, it's not particularly high. The maximum center height of the tent is 70 inches on the 4-person model and 72 inches on the 6-person model. Given the sloping sides, it's difficult for anyone over 5 foot 8 in or so to walk around in this comfortably. If you're on camping trips and okay with models that have deprioritized weight and weatherproofing in place with tall, spacious, family-friendly tents, you're best looking elsewhere. We recommend the Eureka Copper Canyon LX as an alternative camp tent. Sure, it can only be used in fair weather conditions, but almost everyone can stand up in these, it provides plenty of comfort, and they come with loads of storage options. At Number 4. Kelty 4 Six-Person Rumpus Tent with Large Vestibule. The Kelty Rumpus Tent is an imaginative offering, coming in four and six-person sizes. The centerpiece of this tent is the huge vestibule at the front of the tent. This is ideal for any campers with dogs or lots of gear with them. It also provides plenty of space for sitting inside while staying protected from UV on a sunny day. Unfortunately, we feel that Kelty missed a trick. A mesh door to this vestibule would have allowed it to act as a large screen room to keep away insects while you camp. There are also a number of other annoyances with this Kelty tent. The materials don't feel particularly robust and the lifespan of this tent may disappoint. The floor, in particular, feels very thin and we definitely encourage you to pick up a footprint for this tent. We do like that the six-person model comes with a back door, a feature we feel is missing on the four-person model. The six-person tent is also tall enough for most people to walk around inside. However, this does make setting up these tents a little difficult for shorter people. These tents also come with fairly poor waterproofing, with a hydrostatic head rating of 1200 mm, don't get us wrong, this is still much better than many budget tents out there. However, we would recommend only taking these tents out in fair weather conditions. Overall, if you're a casual camper who wants to set up tents in a campsite, have a few beers, and have plenty of space, these tents may suit you well despite their downsides. If you are looking at only using this tent for summer camping then you may also be interested in the Core Instant Cabin Tent.